Hey guys, so I currently need help from someone that knows something about Windows. Uh, I'm usually a Mac user because I feel that that operating system just works. But um, I also have some Windows machines, for example my, my Acer Predator laptop here. I updated it to the latest Windows 10 update and now my computer doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to show it to you and I'm also going to write some text so you get a little bit of background. Okay, so. Here is the laptop. I'm going to press to start it up. And let's see. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. So you can see that it, it starts up just fine, like so. But when I try to log in, so I'm just going to type in my password here okay great let's uh, let's click on enter it says welcome in Swedish and here is where the weird part starts to happen so what happens is I just get a black screen okay and I mean it's very weird because I never seen this on Mac OS I mean, never that it would get me a, like a weird black screen, especially not after an update. Let's see. So you can also see this thing, how slow Windows is. Just if clicking on login takes like 10 times the uh, speed of what it takes on a Mac. So you can see here, yeah, it's, I can see the cursor. Okay, but that's about it. Okay, and I can, I can try to press on things like here, the Windows key, nothing shows up, nothing shows up here on the side. And let's try, I can do one thing, and that is if I press Control Alt Delete, you can see I can get up this sort of menu, but the only thing I can do is switch user, lock, sign out, and task manager. Now if I click on task manager, you know, then nothing happens, okay? It just uh, starts to spin that little thing over there. Okay, and that's about it. And nothing more happens. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused, like what am I supposed to do here? Because clearly the machine is up and running, clearly things are, I mean, I can hear that uh, things are working and stuff like that, but yeah. I'm going to try to see if I can switch user, if anything exciting can come out of that. So if I used, um, what happens here? Do we have any admin? No, I cannot even, you know, I only have this account over here and I'm not sure how you can switch to some admin thing or anything. I don't see that working and I just have some basic things down here. I can go with the, the, the Wi-Fi option, obviously it works, uh, I can change language and I can try this thing, uh, restart, okay. I've heard that if you hold down shift here, hold down shift and click here, it's going to work. So I'm going to try it, okay, I'm going to hold down shift. So you can see, and I am gonna do this. Sorry. Okay, restart. Holding down. But you will see that this won't even work either. And again, I never understood why it's so slow. Like, now I have just started up the computer and it takes forever. I mean, I haven't even started any apps, but it's still super, super slow. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Now this is supposed to, um, like recovery screen is supposed to show up.
and I can hear it starting up, the fans and stuff like that. And what is going on here? And I had no issues before uh, with the computer. It was just working fine. I mean, and also, of course, you clearly can see that it does work when you can get to the login screen. That means that the CPU and all of those things are working and that it's just a Windows issue. And again, I mean, it's just like, why is it so slow? This is a Predator. It has Core i7, GTX 980 desktop graphics card. It does overclocking. It has Aeroblade fans. It has everything. Maybe this is supposed to be the recovery screen right now, but okay, again, I can only see the mouse. Or I can only see the cursor, I mean. Nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. So it's just very, very, it's very confusing. It's very annoying. And people have asked me why I go with Mac. And people say that Macs are overpriced. But one thing I can promise you, you don't have these issues on Mac. It's just, you don't, okay? And usually when you Google to help, to, to get help with a problem on a Windows machine, it they have like hundreds, hundreds of steps. You need to take like 10 steps. And it's always these basic things that you know will never work. Like, have you tried to restart the machine? And, or, or now when the screen is not working, they say, well, if you wanna boot into safe mode, first go into the UI and go and click on this button and, and do this. But now I can't even see the screen. I can only see the mouse. I can only see the cursor. So it's like, how do you solve this? Like, like seriously, like it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, it's, it's very weird and, and it's very sad actually. It's very sad because it shouldn't be like this, okay? Windows 7 wasn't this bad. Windows XP wasn't this bad, but Windows 10, I think they've hit a new low, okay? But uh, if you know anything I can do, let me know because I would love to hear that because I really want this machine to work again. I mean, it did cost 3,000 euro. I want that Windows machine to work because, you know, that would be kind of great. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and have an awesome day.